Home sweet home for a world famous tiger trainer like Charles Ballman isn't what you might think. Charlie, along with about 300 other circus folk in Dallas this week, calls the Barnum and Bailey Circus Train his home. I love it. I, uh, I tried everything. I tried to live in the hotels and uh, doing traveling with circus. Uh, I live on a trailer. I uh, a big trailer, 32 feet long, but uh, nothing beats uh, train living. First of all, for me, uh, I got a long day of work when the circus is in town, and the only time I really get a day's rest is when the train is traveling. Charlie and his wife have a suite with a living room, kitchen, and a separate bedroom and shower. However, not everybody in the circus lives this high. Showgirls and clowns squeeze into a compartment like this one, and that's their home. The circus main office ride the rails, and the train's pie car serves as social and dining hall for all the circus folk. Sometimes the pie car dishes up entertainment as well as pie. <laughs> Sunday night, the circus will have its last performance. After that, the circus folk will pack their things, get on the train, and the big train will pull off into the night. The next stop, Phoenix. Now, after all this, you're probably wondering what it's like to live on a train. Well, on this one, it's sort of like a three-ring circus. For Channel 8 News on the Move, this is Arch Campbell.